One of the best Freddy Funko Pops of 2022? Let's talk about it! Welcome to the gas of gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Funko's hot toys and chimes don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. It was so hard to come up with this list. I picked like 20. Yeah, this year brought a lot of new awesome Freddy Funko Pops and we both picked our top five favorite Freddy Funko Pops of 2022. And you could probably guess what is my number one because I love the TF. Spoiler alert. So are we ranking this like my top five and your top five? So we're gonna start from number five and then work our way down to number one, which is our top favorite. Chris's top five and Heather's top five, not a Gastrocast top 10. Well, it's a Gastrocast top yeah, 10. Yeah, it's a top 10, but it's like our favorites, they're, but they're the best. If we say they're the best, they are the best. This is not an opinion, this is fact. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see all of the awesome content that we create and hit the little bell that way you get notified anytime we post awesome content. Hit the like button because it helps the traction of our videos. Therefore, more people will find the Gastrocast. And while you're at it, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Gastrocast. Find out all the ways that you can support our channel. If you love us, support us. And this video is brought to you by our sponsor, 7 pop.com We just received our two pack of Pop Shield armors ordered during their Christmas special. We got these for $19.99. Wow, and typically they're $28 shipped for two of them, which is a fantastic price. Price, but the fact that they were like 10 bucks each is even better. Head over to 7bucksapop.com right now and buy yourself some today. Before we jump into our favorite Freddy Funko Pops of 2022, we received a very special Funko Pop, but here's the letter. Dear Chris and Heather, I'm a fan from across the big blue sea. I've seen you guys talk about this Funko Pop and thought that you would show off this one in a different episode, but unfortunately you just showed a picture. I had one in my collection and I wanted to sell it. After thinking about it, I thought, why don't I send this pop to you guys? So then you can smell the scented pop and yell if it hmm. is trash or not. Okay. So I contacted you on Instagram and as promised, here is a stinky Funko Pop. I hope the pop survived the trip because it came all the way from the Netherlands. Wow. So from the other side of the world, lots of love and success and have fun smelling the pop. This is from John and his Instagram is joker1709. So you had mentioned this and you were wondering what it smelled like because we oh. speculated that it had to smell gross because it's called Swamp Thing. Apparently this is supposed to smell like evergreen trees. According to this, it's from 2016. Wow. I can already smell through the box. Really? Holy crap. Let me smell. Oh, can you smell it? A little bit. Oh, whoa. I mean, that is strong. Really? Smell that, yes. Oh my gosh. That is one strong smell in Funko Pop. Look at this thing. Wait, is he flocked? He's flocked, wow. <laughs> Who? Okay. He's really strong. He is really strong. He's got he's got a hold on me. <laughs> He's a really great looking Funko Pop. This is a DC character. He smells like evergreen trees. And I have to say, I mean this smells it smells pretty accurate, but it's it's really strong. <laughs> I can't hold it. I can't. Here, put it back. I'm being serious. It's like choking me. It's choking me. Put it back in the box. <laughs> Thanks, John! <laughs> <laughs> That's hit me hard. It's so it's weird. My eyes water. Because I have like <laughs> the craziest sense of smell and I'm not being oh, that affected by it. It's like, it's actually making me like stuffy. Like it's almost like an allergy. It's really weird. I, I don't understand what's happening. Am I like allergic to this or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. We gotta put it back. I can't handle this. You good since he's locked up now? Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> So the funny thing about this is I would totally expect Swamp Thing to smell like shit because swamps stink. Thank you for your death attempt. This is great, I love it. Thank you so much for adding it to our collection. We'll Thank keep you, it. John. It's not going anywhere, it's, it's staying with us, locked deep inside of our home where it does not reach my nose. I mean, that's- You wanna put it, you wanna get like three more protectors and put it over it? I feel like we should put in a lockbox. A padlock? Yeah. On to the Freddy! 
to talk about our top favorite Freddy Funko Pops of 2022. They're the best Freddy Funko Pops of 2022. We're right and you are wrong. If it's anything but what we chose. My number five is Nosferatu Freddy Funko. So if you don't know, Nosferatu is the vampire. He started a film in 1922, which is insane to me. That was 100 years ago. And he's like super creepy. What I remember is like his shadow. And the yeah. weird little teeth. Mm -hmm. I don't like those weird teeth or the fingers. The sausage hands. Okay. I love this pop. I love that he comes with the rat. I love his weird like fingers. They're like all crooked and weird looking. He has the teeth. He has like a bunch of teeth. I don't teeth. like those teeth. The teeth They're freak so me out. good. Even They're in the so 22 good, film. They're really weird. Those they teeth. are really weird, but that's what makes it cool. He's a horror character. Yeah. You know what they're good for? Sucking blood. And guess what okay. he does? Sucking blood. Okay. You know what they're not good for? Sucking <laughs> Because you don't want to use teeth when you're Oh my god, you're so dirty. We are a Funko channel, but we also give you life tips. About dick. My favorite thing about this pop is the purple emo eyeliner. He looks straight up like Gerard Way. My number five is Freddy Funko is Loki from Fun Days 2022. This Freddy's great. And the reason why I like this one so much is because it isn't Freddy wearing his normal crown. He's wearing Loki's helmet with the big horns on it. Typically, I am against Freddy's without a crown because you're like, okay, this might be Freddy, but it might not be. But the fact that his little orange hair is sticking out the top and he has his little Freddy freckles, I love it. Yeah. The only thing that would make this pop better is if they had the crown sort of like hanging off one of the horns. Ah, like, that, that would have been really cool, yeah. I'm full of good ideas. My number four is the Iron Maiden NFT Royalty Freddy. We did not go after this set, but I sort of wish I did because he just looks so cool. However, I'm not really the biggest Iron Maiden fan. I like their music, but it wasn't something I really wanted to drop a lot of money on. This pop is awesome. The fact that there's like flames all over his head and they're like translucent. Yeah. It's just so cool. And he has a guitar. I'm not the biggest Iron Maiden fan, but that was one set that was badass. Yes. They had some incredible pops. All of the Iron Maiden pops are awesome looking. Yeah. My number four is this Captain Cutler Freddy Funko from the Scooby-Doo NFT line. So this is a great looking Freddy Funko pop. The original Captain Cutler Funko pop was one of my favorites, but what made it one of my favorites is that it glowed in the dark. If this Freddy glowed in the dark, this would have changed this entire Funko Pop. This might have been number one for me because it is such a great mold having all of the seaweed sort of hanging off his face. I love seeing anytime they do a brand new mold for Freddy Funko, like his head, because they could just pop a regular Freddy Funko head on top of this thing, put a green crown on him and call it a day. But they went the distance with this one. What if we get like a Fun Days Black Light or something? If we had a Fun Days Black Light or a Glow in the Dark, that would sort of take away the special of this Freddy Funko in my I opinion. I understand. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think so either. My number three is the Danny Phantom Freddy Funko. I love this one. I'm not a Danny Phantom fan, but it was just so well done. I love his like ghost tail. It's yeah. sort of translucent. That's cool. And I love the colors, especially the green eyes. I love the black and white on this pop and the green, like the neon green really makes him pop. Pop? Like Funko Pop Heather? Yeah, that was a pun. Unintended pun. My number three is the Skeleton Freddy Funko from the Halloween Series 1 NFT line. This NFT drop happened last year. The Funko Pop didn't reach people's hands until this year. So I consider him a 2022 Funko Pop. He absolutely is. And had you not chosen him, he was on my list. I love this pop. I want it so bad, but I haven't had the right trade come through. Yeah, I want this Funko Pop a lot. This is on my top five Funko Pops that I want in my collection. We will track him down one day. I also want the NFT Vampire Freddy as well, but the skeleton one's amazing. And we actually have the black light skeleton Freddy. He looks awesome as well, but I like the black and white aesthetic a lot more than I like the black light one. Yes, for this particular pop. Now, I feel like there's some pop that really shine bright when it comes to black light. I think this one's cool, but I feel like I definitely prefer the black and white and red skeleton. We actually have two of these. So if somebody had the black and white skeleton and wanted to work out some sort of trade with us, let us know because I'd be willing to do that. 
My number two is the Creep Show Freddy. He is Freddy as the Creep. I love this thing. First of all, we love Creep Show. It is such a well done show and film. The main reason that I like this one, not only does he have like the Creep Show book in his hand. That's cool. But I like how like creepy his, his like outfit is. He has it, it looks like it's like blowing in the wind. Yeah, yeah. This was a version of Freddy that was totally unexpected, which was in the same box as this Creeper Freddy Funko. Sam, I thought, looked sort of like garbage. I was surprised that Sam didn't look that great, but the Creep looked fantastic. Yes. And I don't know if there's going to be a lot of fanfare for the Creep. I actually looked up his value the other day. He's only like around 120 bucks. That's not a lot. No, not for something like this. But I agree, this is a great Funko Pop and he almost made my top five as well. My number two is this Spider-Man Freddy Funko from the Box of Fun that was at home. I love this Funko Pop. Freddy Funko as Spider-Man is something I've been wanting for a very long time. I know they've made variations of Freddy as Spider-Man. I think they made like wacky wobblers and things. So the fact that they made a Funko Pop Freddy Funko as Spider-Man was a definite grail for me. During our Box of Fun opening, our friend Ryan offered to send this to us. So thank you so much, Ryan. He is definitely in the perfect home. And my number one is They Live. He's a They Live alien. The reason that I like him so much is similar to the Danny Phantom, there's a lot of contrast. He's black and white, but his face is blue and pink yeah. and he has a newspaper in his hands. There's just a bunch of detail on it. I just... I am in love with this pop. That's a great figure. I love that figure. The colors are fantastic. That is one of the better horror Freddy Funkos ever made in my opinion. So Chris, what's your number one? And I'm only asking you that as if you didn't spoil it at the beginning of the video. Mandalorian. You're lying. No, Mandalorian this is my favorite one of the entire year. So Mandalorian said came in the box of fun. He's a 4,000 piece. And I think in February, this is gonna be a super grail to a lot of people because Mandalorian's coming back, baby. And Mandalorian Freddy Funko is gonna go boop, 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 boop. He's gonna be way up there. Are you around? Cause you said Optimus Freddy. Well, this is a runner up. You can't do runner up. And this is my number one. What? Okay, so I have what? a number 1.52. It is the Freddy Funko Skeleton No, you can't soda. do that. No, you can't do that. Yes, I can. Cause you're picking six. No, I didn't pick six. It's a runner up. Okay, I mean, my runner up. Is the Freddy Fungo Soda and Skeleton. You know the rules? You don't even know the rules. You don't know the rules. You, you don't just know the made rules. the number 1.5. That's against you the know, rules. You know, no, you don't know. So Heather was right. My number one is Freddy Fungo as Optimus Prime, baby. This is a great Fungo Pop, and there were three different variations of him. There was a metallic, a black light, which were 500 pieces, and then this common one, which is 1,500 pieces. Love this Fungo Pop, but the black light and metallic are Fungo Pops on my top want list. Like, they're the top number one and number two. Black light comes first, and then metallic. They did a Freddy Funko as Bumblebee for the Funko NFT line. Now I can't wait to see what comes for Transformers NFT Series 2. Hopefully it's Megatron or Starscream. You listening to me, Funko? That's what we need. Funko said, I can't hear you. The gas will cast. Hey, you don't need to say that. That's what Funko said, not me. I'm just repeating. So what do you think about our top 10 favorite Freddy Funko no, no, Pops? No, 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 It's not about what you think because we know we're right. Okay, If you Fair. think we're wrong, then you're wrong. These are the best. The best of the best. You're right. Including your fake 1.5 because that's not even in the rules. He's real. He's right here. I know he's great, but you're not allowed to do that. So he doesn't count. Oh, he did it. He doesn't care. He's here. Seriously, what do you think about our top 10 and what are your tops of 2022? We would love to know. Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patients from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Iron Mule Pops, Jeremy Davis, Joel Campos, Rob Smith, Erica Woods, Kevin LaFranc, Giuseppe Grioli, Bob B-Side Cardillo, Carlos Q, and Patricia Hertock. Thank you all so much for your support. We appreciate it more than you know. A big shout out to our patrons again. You guys are amazing. And thank you for staying until the very end of the video. We appreciate it. Remember as always, we are together. Yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.